infamous Cave Creek Chili Beer is known as the beer with a Serrano chili pepper lingering in the bottom. Created by a guy who goes by the name of Crazy Ed in Cave Creek, Arizona, the beer is now owned by Cerveza Mexicala and produced in Tijuana, Mexico. Is this novelty beer worth checking out? Find out now on Two Dudes Reviews. What up, guys? Yeah, today we have the classic Cave Creek, uh, Cave Creek chili beer the original um i guess let's get right into it <laughs> i tried this once years ago like seven years ago maybe maybe longer i did not have a good <laughs> i did not have a good experience i don't know it's got that little chili pepper hanging around in the bottom although maybe i just didn't drink it fast enough and it, it got like hot and so the hot chili beer on a hot day was terrible. I think it might be the only beer I had never actually finished on my first try. But you know what? It's probably a cheap beer. It's got that clear glass, which is already major strike one. So let's see how this cerveza con chili tastes. Let's start with the smell. You, of course, I have the chili pepper, it's just floating around the top, and that is the um, the major aroma that you get right off the bat, is that, that chili smell. Never, man, I have to. I'm not getting any other aroma. So let's see. You have a bit of that, like a, like a lemon wheat kind of thing, like a lemon rind. A little bit of weediness. I just, I don't know. I've had other jalapeno, you know, just spiced beers before. But none of them, you know, put the, the, the pepper in it. This one, it becomes just like the dominant aroma. And I like a good spicy food with a good beer. Maybe not blended together. But... It's hard to really figure out the like if it smells like a good beer or not because the chili is so powerful and maybe that's not maybe it is kind of just a bad beer and they're like oh, we'll just throw some chili in it you won't be able to smell how bad it is but it's unique I'll give him that I'm gonna give this a half just just because of the uniqueness not for I mean I wouldn't smell this and be like oh that smells really great simply for our uniqueness. That's it. But all right, let's get into the smell. I mean, let's get in the taste. Naturally, when you drink it, you're already looking for the chili. And with the carbonation, that kind of em emphasize, emphasizes it a little bit. It's kind of like, you know, if you're eating something spicy, you shouldn't drink anything carbonated. Which is why all those, like, spicy chicken wing commercials where the guy's drinking a Coke drives me crazy. It's like, no, you don't drink a Coke. That makes it worse. But anyways, yeah, so that chilliness is, especially when the, the carbonation is still kind of going, that's, you get that, that's your the major aroma, naturally. Or taste. Man, I just don't even want to talk about taste, apparently. <laughs> You do have that, uh, you do get, get some lemon rind in there, I think. It is, yeah, it's just hard to dig past. Because the chili just kind of dominates all your senses. And really, all the other tastes disappear, are totally gone, but you have that heat in the back of your mouth. You get that, the instant, like, chili taste, but then just the heat keeps going. And so that's kind of what lingers. Not no, none of the other like just aromas really kind of last. Yeah, you, 
you get a little bit of like a wheat note, but there isn't too much, there's no bitterness, there's really no sweetness to it. So it's going all, you know, all in on the spice. And um, let me get one more. It's really hard to tell if it's a good beer or not. Uh, it's not going to be fantastic. You're not going to put chili pepper in a really great beer. But it's, it's hard to tell. Um, it doesn't taste like super crappy, I guess. But... I don't know. I, I think be, the chili pepper, especially as this thing gets warm, it's just going to be hard to drink. At least for me. I'm heartburn out the ass. <laughs> it's, yeah, so I'm not going to recommend it on the taste. I think it's uh, an interesting novelty beer, which, I mean, that's 100% what this is. You put a chili pepper in it for a novelty. It's like if you buy a tequila or a mezcal with a uh, tarantula, not tarantula, with a scorpion in it. it. It's for, it's you know, it's kind of a gimmick type thing. But, yeah, so I'm not going to recommend it on uh, taste. Next, all right, is value for price, and this beer is about, I think it costs just about what you're going to pay for a Corona. You can't overcharge for something like this, otherwise just nobody's going to buy it. You kind of go to the, through the store, you see like a single of this, and like, well that's interesting. I bet it tastes like crap, but it's only like $1.50, so yeah, it could be, let's, let's give it a shot. That's that's basically what this is. You know nothing about it. Even even the glass seems like you just crushed it in your hand. It feels like one of those candy glasses they use in the movies. But it, it's in terms of value for price, it is super cheap. Is even I mean for Mexican beers, I believe it's kind of on the low end. So okay, value for price. I will recommend it for value for price. Next is distinction. How distinct is it? And it's. There's no denying it is a very distinct beer. You don't find too many other chili beers like this. I think I have seen one other one in this from I don't know if it's a brewery out of New Mexico. Some somewhere in the southwest. I haven't tried that one yet. I don't know if it actually has a chili pepper in it. But generally speaking, it is a very um, unique beer. And so yes, for in terms of distinction, I will recommend it for distinction. You will you will, you, will, you will remember this. Um, Alright, now it's uh, drinkability. Um, I would have serious problems getting through all of this. It's As it warms, it does not go well warm. I'm going to get another swig of this. I feel like the chili pepper is a little less, but it's still, I just, as it gets warmer, it's going to be harder to drink. And if you're like me and you get a little heartburn from time to time, a carb a beer and chili pepper is like the worst thing you could possibly drink. You know, maybe if you added some caffeine in there too, then your heart would explode. But so if you have really bad heartburn, you might want to think twice about this. This is just like a ticking time bomb. But um, drinkability, I'm not going to recommend on drinkability. It's just, yeah. But all right, last is would I buy it again? And no. I have no interest in buying it again to drink. All it is is, hey, man, I got a beer with a chili in it. You should try it. That's 100% the only real reason why you'd buy it. If you really want chili in your beer, buy a good um, Pilsner or wheat beer and just drop a chili pepper in it. You know, or you can get the, uh, you know, line the top of your glass with the uh, the chili pepper salt kind of thing. Do that. That'd probably be better because then it wouldn't really you get a little bit of the, the the spiciness on your tongue, but then you'd still get all the flavor of the beer. Do that. If you go to, um, if you're not around the border where I'm at, and just, you could probably go to most Mexican like food shops, and they have like spicy mango or spicy plum, or um, you know a whole bunch of different kind of spicy fruit type flavors. Which would, you know, if you want it spicy, go that way. 
For this, unless you just want to be like, eh, you know, a gimmicky kind of thing, you don't really need it. And so I'd say pass, and I'm not going to buy it again. But alright, that is my review. I, uh, let's... The pepper's not very good. <laughs> That's actually really disappointing. I was hoping for... There's not much flavor in the pepper. I think there's more flavor of chili in the beer than in the pepper. But, um, yeah. So that's the review. If you'd like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, that'd be awesome. And uh, if you've had this beer before, let me know in the comments. Maybe you really love it. It's your go-to beer for some reason. But, um, yeah. So that is a review. And so for myself and for Cave Creek Chili Beer, 